And so morning comes. Oh, hey, we've got a pumpkin growing. It was raining a moment ago. I guess it started raining overnight. So let's see what we've got for the day. We've got a pumpkin grown! Hurrah! Looks like our plants are fully grown. Is there a monster out there? There is. I'll deal with him in a moment. Now, the next real thing that I think we need to get involved in is a little bit of spelunking. Now, for that, we are going to want to be prepared. Now, over the time, I've managed to kill a couple spiders to get us some string. Now, we can use this string along with some sticks to make a bow. Now, not only do we have that, but we have some flint and some feathers. Now, with the flint, sticks, and feathers, we can make some arrows. Wow, we get a lot of arrows from that. So let's put all our things back. I'm going to keep those on me. And then, just from killing the random skeletons around, or I should say, more correctly, letting the sun kill them. I've got some more arrows that we can use. Now, we only have so many, so we're going to want to use these sparingly. It looks like our stone sword is just about worn out. We've got plenty of iron, though. I went ahead and smelted the rest of the iron that we had before. And I found a small patch, not terribly far out, just sitting there on the surface. Well, kind of on the surface. So now that we have plenty of iron ingots, we will want to upgrade just a little bit with an iron sword. Now, not only that, but we've got leather from a lot of the cows. Now, something I want to show you here... is if you go over here to where the cows are, you find some cows, and you take out some wheat, they'll all follow you, sure. But you can right-click on one, and he'll get all happy. And then you can click on another one. And they're just so happy together. And then, oh man, they made a little baby cow. Look at that. They made a little baby cow. All right, cows, coming through. Now, I needed to kill one of those cows, because you can raise them just like, oh man, just like that, we have a second pumpkin. Now, I suppose I can store that away. But, that has given us just a little bit more leather. Now, with the leather and the iron we have, we will want to make ourselves some nice armor before we go inside. There we are. An iron chest plate. Now, as far as defense, per the items that you put into it, the chest plate is easily your best choice. Second, only to the leggings, which we don't have enough for the leggings. Do we have enough for anything? We have enough for the helmet. Now, I think the helmet is the next one. Oh, no, it's not, actually. The next is... The boots! And then we're just going to have to use our leather here to make what's left. Let's see, what was the other one? The pants? And then we get to put on our new equipment! Okay, we're a little mismatched, but that should keep us plenty safe. Especially right up until we get a little more iron. Our goal for the day is to go down and get more iron. 
So we're prepared. We've got plenty of torches. I'm going to take a bunch of our coal and sticks with us. And we also have some stone so I can make new tools as soon as these wear out. And I would say now is an appropriate time to take out that creeper. I know you're over here. Unless he wandered off. He has run scared from us. Once we get a full set of iron tools, though, we'll be able to delve deeper yet. I suppose he's not around anymore. Unless he fell into the... Yeah, I'm really not seeing him anywhere. Oh well, off we go. I'm still paranoid. Since they don't make any sounds, they can sneak up on you so easily. Ooh, squids! There we are. Now, I wanted to get that for a specific reason. I wanted to show you something. Our sword is just about to break here. I've killed too many things. But you can take bone and turn it into bone meal. Now, bone meal you can use on plants and even little tree saplings, and they grow up really fast. You can also put bone meal in. I'm doing it wrong. There we are. Bone meal along with some ink sacks to get some gray dye. Now, what do we need gray dye for, you may ask? Well, put some gray dye in and some more bone meal and you will get some light gray dye. Now we have some light gray dye and some regular gray dye. Now you can use this to dye wool blocks, but an even better choice for that is to take some shears. And go find a white sheep. All of you out of the way. There we are. We just dyed a sheep. Now we can shear that sheep. And we now have some light gray wool. I'm gonna need more of this. Now I wanted some light gray wool so I can make this look just a little bit nicer. So when we don't just have one single spot of black in the center. I'm going to have to go get some more light gray wool. There we are. You see, as long as you dye a sheep, he'll eventually just eat a little bit of grass and grow his wool right on back. So now you've got as much light gray wool as you could need. Oh no, the sun's going down and we haven't even done anything today. There are all kinds of colors that you can use, though. You can even use some of that cactus that we've got over there to make some green dye. How'd you like a green floor in our house? Yeah, you're right. It'd probably look pretty terrible. Now, is there anything else that we especially need to do before we call it a night? And delve deep into the bowels of the, wo bowels of the world tomorrow. I think for the most part, we've got most everything we need set up. We've got a nice weapon, an even stronger weapon. I've got plenty of supplies to make new things. I suppose just in case we need it, I'll make us a second crafting table. And I'll probably want to take plenty of this wood with me as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think that's doing pretty good. Well then, it's night out, so bright and early tomorrow morning, we go on an adventure. Ah, morning has come. Now where shall we go off to? Ah, another place to get flint, I didn't explain this before, is from gravel. You see, when you break gravel, there's a chance that it will turn into flint. And we've seen plenty of gravel around. I went out and found a nice big bunch of it myself. And once we get a full set of iron tools, we'll be able to come back and explore even more of the underground. The deepest of the deep. I can see a creeper up there. Now I couldn't tell you why, but I'm drawn to this area over here. The area we've seen several times now with that rather large lava fall. So let's head back over that way. Maybe we'll find some kind of... some kind of underground cave. A system, if you will. Anything at all. Ah, here we are. Surely there's something over here. Now we will want a full set of iron gear before we go too deep. Ah, hey, there's a whole bunch of gravel just sitting right over there. And even there in the water. We'll also want an iron pickaxe. All the iron! So many cows. Ooh. Oh, wow. A whole underground ravine. And a spider. Here, spider. Here, spider. Here, spider. Come on over. Can I hit him? Can I hit him? I think I hit him. Yay! Oh, poo. I'm gonna have to take out our pickaxe. Ah, spider! not even underground yet. Ah, and that music, that sound usually means there's something large nearby underground. Probably that. We'll want to go down there. I could see some iron just from here. I think first, though, I'd like to see if there's another little place that we can't get something from. Perhaps this way. Maybe another little cave. Something a little less... Fall to my death-y. You know what? Give me just a moment and I'll put all that back. There we are. Now well, certainly there's a cave of some sort around here. I heard something. I heard a zombie. That means there's got to be a cave nearby. Somewhere underground. I think we found something. Wow, look at all that coal. It looks safe for the moment. 
I will secure the area. Then I'll go back for the coal in a moment. Need to put torches closer to the sword. Alright, looks reasonably safe in this direction. Backwards. Out of the water. Ooh, iron. And I hear things. But where? Last thing I want is to get snuck us up on. There's a skeleton down there. It's not exactly easy, but you can see in the dark. Oh, wow, there's a really big open area here. I'm going to go back the other way. Ooh, there's iron right there. Suppose I'll grab this iron while I've got the chance. Oh wait, something can just come up this way at me. I don't want to turn my back to this. Okay, it at least looks safe enough for me to mine this iron. Ah! My iron is down there. So is a skeleton. And more iron. And more creepers, and more zombies, and more everything. Oh heavens. Oh heavens, stay away! STAY AWAY! I want a nice way out. Ah, oh, zombie, zombie, zombie. Oh man, so much more iron. Iron is generally pretty plentiful. I thought I saw something up there. Guess it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Why is there light over here? Iron is generally pretty plentiful, and easy to find. You shouldn't have to search too hard to get some, but you will have to go down a little ways. That skeleton. Guess what I got for ya? Oh man, he went way over there. Can I hit him? I can hit the ceiling. Again. And again. Oh, come on! Did I hit him? Yeah! No! Away with ye! Away! Oh. 
I don't like turning my back to the large open area. Ah! 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 Here a spider somewhere. Oh heavens, a dead end, thank you. I feel good when I find dead ends. That's one place I don't have to explore anymore. I don't like that large open area over there, but I suppose it's not really any threat. Anything in there? Alright, that's all of that iron. So much iron! We should have plenty of iron to make all the things that we are in need of making. Ooh, more iron though. I'm, I do want to know what's over here. keep thinking I see something over here. Oh, it's just a dead end. Oh, and the iron as well. Alright, I think this will do it for us. Let's get this and get the crap out of here. Oh, heavens. Well, there goes my thing. Which is why I have brought tools. To make more! Great, there's another opening nearby. We're just going to have to come back to this area. So much in here, so little time. Today has been more of an expedition than anything. I think tomorrow, fully supplied, we will have to run out and truly explore this cave. There's so much in here. There's some iron over there. Uh. I'm already nervous and scared, and I don't want to be in here anymore. I hear a pig. Oh, this dirt probably means the surface is nearby. I'd like to pick up this coal as well. We don't have all the time in the world. Well, let's see what we can get to over here real quick. Oh, I don't like this at all. Too many places for things to come at me that I can't see. Didn't want to put one there. Okay, it at least looks safe up here. Oh, I don't like this at all. So much iron, though. Where this even goes? That goes so far down. Uh oh. Can I put a torch on that? Can I put a torch on that? God yeah, dang it. Can I put a torch on that? Ah! Yeah, yeah, let's, let's come back to that later. Let's get this iron. Maybe that iron, maybe, 
Maybe. I'm not feeling too adventurous at the moment. Can I put a torch there? Please, please. Ah! Eat it! Ah! Stick your head out again! Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm reasonably, reasonably happy. Let's get our things and get the crap out of here. Yes, yes, oh no. I hear something coming from up there. Oh there, oh, there he is! Alright, zombie, you're not quite as big a threat as those... ...skeletons. Crap happened to my sword. Come out. Alright. Alright, we're getting this iron. We're getting this iron, and maybe that iron. I don't want to be in here anymore. Also, um, I think I've mentioned digging directly above you is generally a bad idea. Um, I'm still doing it because I'm in a hurry. And I kind of don't want to be here anymore. But if it hasn't been mentioned and stressed, Generally bad idea. All right, we got plenty of iron. Let's get the crap out of here. I'm already lost. This way. I'll have to spend some time in here and get this coal. I heard a little bit of music play not long ago. Oh heavens, we've never even explored this way. I don't want to. Oh, does this open up into the ravine? Yes, it does! That's just gonna be rife with difficulty if we go that way. Let's just get out of here. Go home. Rest for a night. Zombie right outside. Ah! That creeper almost had me. Oh, skeleton! The morning sun is coming, though. Morning sun, banish away the darkness. Oh, and I don't know about you, but I think I'm going to sleep this day away. Oh.